All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I wanted to make a video kind of addressing arm training and how I actually got big arms. So that's a question I get all the time is what do I do for my arm workout? Now, I don't want to be facetious and say that I have big arms, but a lot of people say that for a natural bodybuilder, my arms are decent size. So I wanted to give a video um, kind of talking about my workout routine, my split, what frequency I do, what days I train what. Um, so I just kind of wanted to break that down for you guys. Now, obviously, Different things are going to work for different people and something that works for me, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. And again, I am a natural bodybuilder, so this advice is primarily going to apply to other natural bodybuilders. Um, so the number one thing that I found works best for me is more frequency. And when I say frequency, I'm talking about how many days per week you train a body part. So for me personally, in terms of frequency, the best frequency that works for me is training arms three days a week total. So on Monday, I'll do back and biceps and I'll do a higher volume bicep workout with that back workout. Um, and then on Tuesday, I'll do chest and triceps and again, kind of a high volume tricep workout. Um, and then on Friday, I'll do biceps and triceps together and I'll do very heavy compound movements um, like power curls. I'll do heavy, you know, behind the neck uh, tricep extensions and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna do two high volume days and then one you know very high uh, intensity day you could call it so that's kind of how i break down my training is volume and intensity on different days for me personally my favorite bicep workout is the power curl now obviously you guys know that i've competed in strict curl competitions and my best strict curl was 165 pound strict curl at 165 pounds body weight so that's that's with your back up against the wall you got your shoulders pinned back and then you've got to curl it without using any momentum so my best curl is 165 pounds so in the gym, what I like to do is cheat curls. So rather than putting my back up against the wall, I'll use a little bit of momentum and curl as much weight as I possibly can. In some cases, I've gone up to 175 um, for three reps, but typically what I'll do is I'll put 125 on the bar. So if you got a typical 15 pound curl bar and you put a 45 on each side, that's 90 pounds plus, t plus 15 pounds because the curl bar isn't a 45 pound bar, it's typically 15 to 20. So you're probably looking at 105 pounds when you have a 45 on each side. So I'll typically put a 45 and a 10 on each side and I'll do a five by five program with that for my heavy compound day. Um, so basically five by five on the heavy barbell curl. Um, for compound movements, I'll do heavy hammer curls maybe for my heavy day. Um, I like to do heavy bicep curls with you know just heavy dumbbells. So I'll go, so when I say heavy, um, in terms of hammer curls, I'll maybe go 50, 55, 60, 65, and try to do them with good form. And then maybe on a bad form, like a really heavy day, I'll start with the 60s, go 60, 65, 70, 75, then jump straight up to 90, and then do like a final set with just heavy ass 90s on the hammer curl. Um, so typically that's what I'll do for my heavy days. It's heavy compound movements, like I said, behind the neck, uh, one arm tricep extension. So with that, I'll probably do anywhere from 100 to 120 pounds. So I'll go really, really heavy on triceps behind the neck. I like skull crushers, um, heavy close grip bench press. That's a big staple of mine for building big triceps and trying to work that inner head of the tricep on the inside of your arm. Um, that's one of my favorite movements actually is close grip bench press. So when I say close grip, I'm talking really close. I'm talking maybe maybe four inches in between your in between your wrists so I, so I go really really close on on close grip bench so that's one of my favorite workouts for arms so let's see what else could I give you guys for arms so let's see what else could I give you guys so when I say high volume a typical high volume day for me is very very high volume I'll probably do five exercises um, for that body part so maybe five different bicep exercises but I'll probably do ten sets per exercise. So I might do dumbbell curls and I'll probably do 10 sets of maybe 12 to 15 reps. So I, I go high reps and high sets as well. Um, so that's kind of my style of high volume training. Now, again, different things work for different people. Some people think that might be overtraining, but for me, I've seen my biceps grow the most when I add in way more volume to my training. So adding in those very high volume days, doing those extra reps, doing a little bit lighter weight, for me, that's what caused my biceps to grow the most. And I significantly can see the changes in the mirror on my bicep when I'm doing a high volume workout versus if I'm training for a strict curl meet and I'm just doing power curls maybe three days a week practicing for that meet and I'm doing that for months on end, my bicep size stays stagnant. The pump doesn't, I mean, I don't get as good of a pump um, and my arm just doesn't seem to be as big. But I notice directly when I start doing higher volume training that the size of my arm definitely gets bigger. So that's one thing that has always worked for me. Um, so my advice for you guys would be to break it down into doing not just high volume or not just high uh, high weights, but breaking it down and doing high volume for one half of the week, 
than heavy weights on the second half of the week. And that's what's worked best for me for building big arms. So that's my main advice to you guys. Again, this advice doesn't apply to everybody. Different things work for different people. But for me personally, that's what worked. That's what you guys asked me is what worked best for me. So that's basically the best program that I could give you guys for building big arms to break it down into a simple terms, you know, volume one day, heavy movements on another, and that's as simple as it gets. So that's what I do for arms. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please try these workouts um, and let me know how they go for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.